Hello everybody, what have we got for today? And for today we have another nice power supply that wants to be fixed. It has a seal on it, which is always a good thing. Let's following standard algorithm by connecting a tester, an isolated mains power cord, just like this. Let's turn it on. And as you can see the light bulb blinked. Let's turn it on. PFC section is working because lamp is blinking. But the power supply is not starting. Now I shunted the bulb and nothing happens. Actually I've already tested and kind of know the fault and I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show it to you now. The wires on this connector is are black, so I've got a connector laying around with color markings. Now I'm interested in 12 volts line, so let's connect one probe to the ground in the diet mode. Another probe we connect to 12 volts line, and as you can see, the line is shorted. That's the 5 volts line and 3.3. Those are okay, but 12 volts it's a dead short. So we've got to open it and see what causing this problem. The screws are removed. Now remove the lead. The power supply is surprisingly clean inside, which is not often the case. Probably it didn't work for too long before it died. Let's remove the PCB and check from the back side of the PCB, because on this side I don't see anything. The rest of the screws are removed. Now we can carefully, I say carefully, because there are big caps that can hold a lot of charge, which can be lethal. And we should discharge it. I have a special tool, like, like this one. There is nothing more than a resistor inside about half a kilo ohm, something like this. Okay, now we can safely handle the PCB. I'm interested in output transistors, those. These are probably okay. Let's test them. Okay, the multimeter is in resistance mode and as you can see drain to source is assured. Now let's check the resistance on gates. This gate is 10k, good. 10k, good. On this side it's 21 ohm, too low. This one is 1 ohm, so probably only one transistor is bad and it causes the other one show the low reading. I removed the culprit, now let's check for the shirt again. And as you can see, the shirt has gone. Let's check the transistor itself. And as you can see, it is shorted. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put an, a new one. The marking on it you cannot see, but you can see it on the screen. 40 volts, 100 amps. Not a big deal. I didn't have the exact transistor, but I have a lot of transistors for minor power supplies, 200 amps for, for 40 volts. So I think that should be more than enough. And on the gates on this side we don't have a shirt and we are ready to test it. I hope it's gonna be okay, but who knows, maybe the driver could be bad, but judging by its resistance, driver is probably okay. Okay, the same testing procedure. Let's connect cables temporarily. Same tester. You shouldn't try to test it directly from mains. That is very dangerous. I have an isolation transformer, so I'm kind of safe, but still. Isolation transformer can be tricky. Okay, as you can see, there is a PFC working, now I shunted the lamp and let's turn it on and it's turning on so I'm gonna put everything back test carefully and hope for the best okay I put everything back connected the tester to check maybe I did something wrong and there is a problem and there is no problem now I'm gonna connect another one and see okay here is the load 500 watts here is a tester and as you can see all the voltages are okay now connect 500 watts load and see and still voltages are fine so one more device is saved from trash and gonna leave and serve its purpose. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you with another one. Bye.